I don't know if we're on the right volume, but we'll, uh, I'm sure we'll soon find out. So yeah, I just need to say, I need to say thank you to um, Arsenal.gg who uh, provided me a code for this. Uh, I really wasn't sure I was going to be able to get one, but they, they very graciously provided me with a code. So I, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you again. Sorry, it's taken me so long to start it. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really looking forward to this. Really looking forward to it. I haven't checked anything yet. Uh, tutorials, invert, horizontal aim, vertical aim. It's always got to be vertical. The rest of it's usually, I'll, uh, I'll stick with what they've got. Headphones. Mute copyrighted music. Oh, hell yes. Thank you. God, I wish more more uh, games did that. <laughs> Subtitles. Yep. Uh, we'll have... Uh, normal's usually okay for, for this. Subtitle background. That's probably a little black bit on the background to make it show up a bit better. Uh, sign translation overlay. Enable disable to translate text for signs. Yeah, we'll have that one. I'm always interested to see that. They've actually got a good amount of uh, good amount of stuff here, haven't they? Cool. Now, is there? A, I don't know if there's a difficulty level on this. Is there? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, let's see, brightness-wise, how's uh, how's the brightness for you guys? By the way, until the uh, middle. I, I, yeah, actually, that's pretty okay, isn't it? Right there, I think. I'm going to bring it up very slightly. Um, because the stream's usually a bit darker than uh, than usual. Pretty dark. I mean, it says it's meant to be meant to be dark. Like, how far along can we go before we don't see the left-hand one? Oh, wow. Like, tons of the way through. Let's go. I'll go there and see how that is. Problem is with the light shining at my face, it's um, it's, it's it makes it even harder to see when it's darker. Right, let's get started, shall we? A big remedy fan, so this uh, this hopefully should should be right up my street. Just gonna keep an eye on the sounds, just make sure we're okay. Fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, uh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. 
there's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Okay. Hello? Uh, I'm going to bring the brightness down very slightly here. I think I might be a little bit high. Let's just try that. Also, I'm not sure if I like the... Uh, Uh, da, 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 da. Subtitle background on. Anyone here? <clears throat> Does that look alright, guys? Not too dark. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's try that. Looks really nice. Ragdoll. It's not really ragdoll, is it? But cloth physics. I'm gonna I'm gonna be properly looking around here because uh, I know they hide a lot of good stuff in their uh, in their games remedy. Just see what kind of stuff we can find. Every object in the game has physics. I have seen some videos of uh, like people just like whacking stuff around like this. <laughs> kind of reminds you of Evil Within. I mean, it's I don't think it's a horror game like at all, but. We do have collectibles. <coughs> Federal Bureau of Control. Reminder, certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Unauthorised weapons, pages, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. Number two pencils. Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept, e.g. rubber ducks, ketchup bo uh, bottles. All material under Bureau investigation uh, is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. That, it, it kind of sounds like it's going to be like 1984 or something. Oh yeah, vibe-wise, it, it's, it's very similar, isn't it? Then again, um, a lot of the Remedy games do kind of feel like this as well. By the way, guys, as you probably noticed, I've, I've, I've changed over to full screen for a bit. I wanted to see how it looked in terms of uh, screen quality. Because I think actually having a smaller screen in this case might be detrimental in terms of uh, visual quality. I think it might look better full screen. Because if you think about it, you're kind of squashing down the same image, but into uh, an area with less pixels. Uh, let's see... What's this? Just expenditures. A lot of stuff uh, not showing there. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. <coughs> <coughs> like I said, guys, apologies for uh, any, any coughing. I'll try and keep it to a minimum. Alright, so there, there, okay, there's a sprint, right? We're not having another Tomb Raider situation here. <coughs> Dr. Casper Darling. Darling? I haven't played Evil Within, Reese, but I know I, I've seen enough of it to see what it's like. Um, not really. Uh, Man of Meden, Morvon, because um, I, I like the look of. Um, I haven't played. Um, Shit. Uh, the other horror game they did on PS4. But I've, I've been interested to start that. Uh, until dawn, that's it, yeah. But uh, Blair Witch, uh, less so. I, I'm not um, I'm not one for scary games a lot of the time. I don't like being in situations where I can't defend myself. At all. <laughs> Federal Bureau of Control. 
All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Uh, I've heard like mixed things about Blair Witch as well. Although it does have a door go in it. We got oh wow, look at this. Yeah, we're definitely in some kind of like nineteen eighty four type thing, aren't we? Where like you're not allowed any like creativity or design or anything like that. I'm saving that for next month. Yeah, I, I actually got a uh, game pass by the way, so um, I, I could play it. I just don't want to. <laughs> so we've got look at this. Look at these uh, iconic designs. Fibers and protein bars. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and like look around as best I can. Wow, they're really like redacting everything, aren't they? I wonder if we can um, like uncover these as as time goes on somehow. <coughs> oh dear God, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? Really, I really do apologise for the coughing. What was that? Hello. As you should, or uh, as you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. Still waiting on them from a number of people. If you require an extension, please request form R4.E from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under Section 75.2 of the Employee Manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims. And please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best to your admin team. There's 200 plus uh, collectibles, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I don't like cheese, Von. That's why he's saying that. But I don't like it, and I can't have it. So there's, you know. Hopefully this isn't too dark for you Hello? guys. Oh, hello. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, then uh, you are no hell of it. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna. What? I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. <laughs> okay. Did he just read our mind just now? So we said that in our head, right? <clears throat> Gotta look everywhere. And some fine toilets. Alright, so who's that? That is Zachary Trench. And that's uh Dr. Darling again, isn't it? Is this just back around in circles again? Wait, how did that work? Did that just do an impossible loop? What the fuck? Is that was that actually an impossible loop? Are they starting, like, the, the mental shit already? <laughs> what the fuck? 
I was expecting him to like ease me into it, not not just like, yep, yeah, crazy bullshit immediately. <laughs> game about secret agents? Is that a games magazine? <laughs> the elevator wasn't uh, there when you pulled past it earlier. No, it wasn't, was it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I'm really going to have to... And the poster. Gonna have to keep my wits about me, aren't I? I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Oh man, yeah, me keeping my wits about me is not a... Uh... You know what I'm like. <laughs> Unless I'm fully concentrating on the game, I'm gonna miss stuff. It seems like it's um, set in the... Uh... It seems like it's set in like maybe the 80s, late 80s as well, technology-wise. I appreciate that, Vaughn. I, I want to make all my own mistakes if I can. That's a cool transition. Did I lose you there for a moment? Yep. You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Yeah, so I, I definitely need to keep uh, keep track of everything here. Don't know why our arm freaks out. Like that. Whoa! Okay, there is a lot of it. Oh, -ho -ho! there's a lot of physics going on. Is uh, is the game loud enough for you guys? By the way, <coughs> you have a problem with backseating, Vaughn? No, you're you're pretty good. You're pretty good usually. Oh, you know what? I I I just don't. I have my special word that I will say if I need any help. Uh, reminder, redrafting any public facing material while well, pending any notifications of death related to the Willow or, or AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines, words and phrases to use. In the service of his or her country, regret, proud or pride will be remembered. Words or phrases to avoid Alaska, scissors, blood or bleed, loss, apologies, sorry. So, okay, let, let me... Is, is this... This is the f thought police, right? Don't actually tell me. I'm just... This is a metaphorical question. But this, this, this seems to be like the thought police. So far. No clearance. Physics are kind of wonky. I, I kind of like that. Wonky physics are funny to me. Is that a stapler or an altered item? Don't take office equipment outside of the building. Don't read confidential correspondence. It's not just rude, it's illegal. Okay. Just keep looking for some hidden shit. I feel like finding all the collectibles in this game is going to be quite important as well in terms of uh, understanding fully the story perhaps too. Office uh, rules of conduct. Speak in moderate volume. No personal calls. No food or drink around bureau documents or in the copy room. No using the photocopier for personal projects. What does that say? Uh, or the 3D printer or the bureau stationery. Wear access badge at all times. No discussing confidential projects out loud. The one to finish the coffee. Uh, something makes a new one or will make a new one or something. Please recycle. Hmm. It's on purpose to kind of make the rooms get obliterated during a fight. Yeah, I've, I've kind of I've seen a bit of footage of it, and uh, it, it looks like it's quite fun the amount of damage you can do to a room in this game. Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trench. 
Alright, so which one's Trench? Have we seen him yet? Or her? Uh, right, we want to go through there. Oh, can't go there. Okay. Oh, Trent, Trench is the director, Zachary Trench. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. So we got, uh, there's a you map. Want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Is someone talking in her head? So is this the, this is like the, uh, it's a weird gun, isn't it? It's like made of like cubes or something. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? So we have to be like worthy of wielding the weapon or something? How's it going, Pingu? Say hello to Sketch for me, please. This place is called the Astral Plane, and we'll be playing Astral Chain later. <laughs> Wow, this is uh, cool. Bubblegum Polaroid. All, none of the above. There seems to be a lot of like that, like two words sort of thing. What the fuck? What? I hope this makes more sense as it goes on. Because <laughs> so far it is nuts. So we've got melee attacks. So yeah, we've got like force powers. And yeah, you can kind of like destroy the environment quite a lot, can't you? The same gun. I've got a machine gun. <coughs> Sketch said to let, uh, say hello to you, but I'm not going back to your stream tonight as I'm tired as hell and stuff. It's things like that that make me want to watch Stranger Things. You should, Reese. It's really good. This game probably has better force powers than Jedi Fallen Order will have. Uh, that game looks good as well. I think it looks cool. Right, so does this service weapon regenerate its ammunition automatically when not in use? I was just literally just about to say, does it regen ammo? Okay, can you get headshots? Ah, so it actually has to charge. Right, it's the same as reloading, isn't it? Is there a dodge? Yeah. 
Enemies drop health elements when damaged. Collect health elements to restore health. Makes sense. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the Bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Things have... <coughs> A bit mental so far. I'm liking it. <laughs> I'll, yeah, okay, Pingu. All right. I was I was wondering where you were going there, actually. <laughs> Quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? I'm going to guess no. All right. I think it's... Guys, is this the right level of dark, would you say? It's sort of like dark enough, but I can still see what's going on. You can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. You. Oh, thank you. That was. horror. What? <laughs> Hiss guard. Field research on Hiss entity. Hiss corrupted security guard. Confidential summary. The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. Hiss guards used the standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to corruption. While the armoured guards carry pump action shotguns, they have no observed paranatural abilities, with the exception that certain Hiss guards are protected by a shielding of dense Hiss resonance capable of stopping bullets. Is this shielding a result of prolonged Hiss corruption? Does the Hiss mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Did the Hiss target individuals with combat training? Does the Hiss have that level of cognizance? Does it uh, utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved to combat? These are all questions for later though. It is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. Refer to file blank for full report. So is that um, is it showing there that their hands and faces are uh, weak points, like the red bits, or is that just their color coloring in a little bit? Yeah, Mo, I'd really recommend Stranger Things, dude. I think you'll uh, I think you'd like it. The vision of the game's graphics and live action is trippy. Again, that's very much a remedy thing. Oh, I was getting a bit of a... Uh, the pad was rumbling there. I wondered if that was because I was near an item of some kind. Undefined material. Okay. Just wondering if we can break into those other rooms now. Ah, uh, now we've got the proper... We've got the proper map. Wait, do we have a... Okay, I was going to say, do we have like a, a Resident Evil style inventory system? Secure line of communication. Guide us. Reach the Ammo refund. So another dude here. Yeah. Is 
Is that a level above their heads? <laughs> okay. How, okay, let's see what the, uh, the destruction's like. Pretty good. Pretty good. Can we break into these? Ah, oh, look. You've even got, like, destroying small portions of the glass. Always like that, that kind of effect. Uh, what? I don't want to shoot these people. Oh, that's fucking cool damage. Reminder. If you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. 1. Search the room for any altered items or objects of power. 2. Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. 3. Wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. Bing bong bong. Reminder, if you experience oh, okay, they're going to play it anyway. Shift, follow these so now steps. we're the director. One, search the room it did say, didn't it, in that cutscene that we are now the director. Two, but it's also replaced our picture into the ones of Trench by the looks of things. Three, wait He's just hanging out. He wasn't actually hanging, Reese. He was just sort of floating there. Ah, oh, this is so cool! You can blow up the toilet. Yes, you can! Wow, you can really fucking destroy these rooms, can't you? That's so good! <laughs> have a proper look around here. There you go. More items. Uh, dinner reservations at 7pm at Shea Ambre. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at lobby reception. Remember she is turning 46. What's that? Don't let mould hitch a ride. Perform daily body checks for foreign plant matter. I mean, if you've got plants growing on you, you probably need a bath. I would say. Damn, this runs pretty smoothly as well so far. Yeah, what are these? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to shoot any of these people because they. I don't think they're bad. <laughs> it's a good way of blowing off steam, isn't it? That's cool. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babbles content. Wait, did there's someone? She said to herself, "Is the hiss your enemy?" What? <laughs> What are you talking about, Reese? Good way of blowing off Steam, says this while playing an EGS exclusive. I'm not playing it on the Epic Game Store, though. <laughs> uh, how to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Lo lobby? Lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellent in excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How do you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and they'll, they'll need to leave. If their answers seem blank, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner's psychological assessment if their responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then blank immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Dangerous. 
It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Delays caused by house shifts do not count towards overtime. Oh, acoustic guitar for sale though. Turns out it's pretty hard. If interested, see Greg in maintenance. Food left in the refrigerator in containment break room 3B has been known to vanish. Plan accordingly. Is that someone eating it or is it actually just vanished? <coughs> yeah, I, 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 we won't. We probably won't get into the uh, the whole EGS uh, thing again because uh, I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not invested enough in sort of the PC infrastructure to really have a uh, an opinion that I could say counts. <laughs> I like reading all these posters. They're kind of cool. Fuck you, plant. Urban legends. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. Uh, we recognize certain blank, informed by our own blank, and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificially blank in popular culture using blank, our bureau-made anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerba uh, exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore, AWEs that only occur on blank, a pair of scissors that consume human blank through two pictures on the blank. These details living in the minds of so many have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children, they are paranatural realities waiting to happen. Okay. There's a lot I'm not getting right now. <laughs> I'm hoping this will become more clear as time goes on. What's that? I'm just telling it's a radio, just turning it on and off. Uh, I will be looking for collectibles, by the way. Uh, sorry if this upsets people. But I like me some collectibles. got like a boss oh shit wait you lose uh, energy really quickly don't you Hold down X. That's fucking cool. That's awesome. Holy shit. Interact with cleanse control points to fully restore health. On death, Jesse will start the control point. Are you still sane? Outfits? Oh, okay, cool. Fast travel. I wasn't expecting this to be uh, like a fast travel type game. <coughs> Did it just say there's a bacon printer? I didn't see that. <laughs> it does, doesn't it, Pingu? Is this a fucking uh, Assassin's Creed sync point or something? Uh, it doesn't seem like quite the same. 
I mean, you don't have to like climb up shit for a start. Please At least not yet. We saw you deal with the compromised agents. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. <clears throat> somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. So, who are we... I, I, I'm guess again metaphoric metaphorical question here. Who's in our head then? I wonder. <clears throat> What's up, Get Noob? Good to see you, dude. All right, we got control points. Control points are locations that the bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. And the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the blank arrangement. The surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. These control points are discovered by blank detection of an unobstructed, unobstructed ping using the blank within a 37 foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to, to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or blank or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is that control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilise the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology could be extrapolated to stabilise the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be blank. 
Okay. You think the player, Reese? I guess we'll find out eventually. Just gonna lock ourselves in. I wondered if that would give us something, uh, something else. We can hear that noise now that we couldn't hear before. Okay, interesting. All right, so that's the his corrupted agent. Look, are you proud of me? I discovered the uh, the run button this time. <laughs> right, so there's certain clearance we don't have yet. Ooh. I probably shouldn't be doing this out of order. No, fuck it. I won't. So I'm probably just going to have to come back here in a minute anyway. Uh, the hiss manifests in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the form of corrupted agents floating throughout the bureau. The hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. These hiss have displayed no aggressive behaviour. They only seem interested in vocalising the strange incantation and ad infinitum. Uh, perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Or are they cocoons preparing to enter their next stage of evolution? When attacked, hiss agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing, undergoing the transformation into a purely resonant form. Research is ongoing. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't think we're meant to know yet. Deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Yeah, I, I don't think we're meant to know who, uh, who or what is Jesse, right now. Jesse, over here. We need to make a plan. Je I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm going to tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen, the Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hadron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the Hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's head of communications. 
I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. He'll be the boss then. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. So we've got like a loadout or something. <clears throat> um, it's uh, the music sounds very like John Carpentery, doesn't it? I like that. This is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. I'm sure the there are. The comms department is just outside the boardroom, back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the. The hotline should be in the communications department. I'm sure there are some stupid questions. Right, origin of the hiss. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. With you on that, Emily. I think Emily looks like a uh, younger Jodie Foster, don't you think? The oldest house. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the Bureau Headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Director Trench. This Trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Excuse me, it's data, not data. <laughs> Objects of power. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? <laughs> Got it. 
<coughs> Thanks. Yeah, got it. Hedron resonance amplifiers. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss. It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Here we go. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. What's that, Reese? I wonder if the director is actually the assistant to the janitor. What if it's the janitor? Ooh, what's that? Energy boost. Is that a mod then? Doesn't look like I can actually uh, do anything with those yet. Oh, personal mods. There you go. Um, let's see. Health recovery on element pickup plus 20%. Just more energy. I guess that's more health, right? More health would be uh, better, I'd say, there. Alright, so we've got some kind of like rudimentary upgrade system. Well, equip equipment, I suppose. The janitor did have a painting on the wall. Wait, did he? There's that. I noticed there was a load of paintings here. Oh, it's Colonel Sanders. <laughs> oh, back at the beginning, right. I mean, he, the, the uh, janitor must be important because he also wasn't affected by the hiss, was he? So there's got to be something going on there. Ammo efficiency. Ammo refund chance on hit. Ammo cost per shot. Uh, exclusive to spin, shatter, and grip. I guess. I guess that's uh, some abilities we don't have yet. I really like the look of it. Let's uh, search this room first before I move on. House memory. More material I can't use. Listen, I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. D, D Rodriguez. I love the fact they call it a shitter. <laughs> I thought calling it a shitter was only a, a, a UK thing. Apparently not. What are the radios all about then? Wait, what, uh, Pingu? Don't like the look of this. It's not destroyed yet. What isn't destroyed yet? Can't find your office? <laughs> What's your step? Everything. Destroy the radio. I can't, uh, I can't do it in this room. This is sort of like a safe room of some kind. So it's not letting me uh, use my melee attack. Alberto Tomasi. Uh, technological limitations of the oldest house. The oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit any blank signal. Radio waves are the only transmittable single signals in the oldest house, and even the those are often unreliable. 
the power of collected un collective unconscious is taken into account. It could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural blank for the oldest house to blank them. Sounds quite rude, doesn't it? Similarly, these items have not been known to become receptacles for altered status. Technology may be moving at too fast a pace for the blank to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Blank agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pocket while entering the oldest house. Okay, that explains that we are actually in the uh, current, well, probably in the current timeline. It's just they're using old technology for that reason. Nope. Yeah, more stuff. More undefined reading. I wonder what that uh, material is all about then. If it's like for. You can like make stuff or upgrade shit. Yeah, I can't, can't destroy this room. Or any of these rooms. Can I run forever? Seems like it. Yeah, so you can turn the radios on and off, but they currently don't do anything. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we were already here, weren't we? Wait, okay, oh. <coughs> oh no, I understand now, yeah, sorry, the, uh, the room was altered before, wasn't it? You can hear a lot of shit going on here. Right, so communications department is up the other, other end. Don't, can we just go um, anywhere though? Like, can I just go this way and have an explore? Or... Huh? Oh no, I came in this way. What a neat broke back mountain picture. This is a very, like, so far, this is a very different game to the uh, other Remedy ones. Like, having a hub like that is very strange. I'm expecting a lot of, like, impossible room shifts in this game. Oh, look, that's, uh, that writing's about as good as my handwriting. Alright, it's nothing there at the moment. Or because if going the wrong way caused level to loop back on itself. I think that's gonna ha that kind of thing's gonna happen, Reese, honestly. By the looks of things. Right, yeah, I think this there might be it is again. Our welcome message. Now I can destroy stuff. Where is that paper coming from? <laughs> okay, it's not every time. It's just when you're near paper. There you go. Where's that coming from? Sounds like gibberish. Sounds nuts. That um that other game you guys showed me looked uh, cool though. The one that's like Stanley Parable, but with like the uh, like uh, depth perception manipulation. That was cool. 
Are these guys bad guys? That'd be a yes. That. Remedy sure likes their possessed people and memetic diseases. <coughs> Summary. Following the... Uh, visited the following Nevada accommodations, Desert Sun Inn. Actually, that's, uh, I'll, I'll skim this one. Someone spent a lot on the uh, minibar. Boys and research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. Yeah, all right. I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state, but hey, I guess I'm not paid to think right. And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. They're pretty, uh, they're pretty on it as, uh, as far as spending goes, aren't they? Unfortunately, I can't just run through glass. You have to like shoot a hole through. Can't just walk through it like in most games. Yeah, okay. Health recovery mods. Is that the same as what I've got? Now, oh, slightly better. Wow, you can really fuck this place up so bad. There you go, Pingu, you're happy now. <laughs> Alright, so that looks like the way forward. The gun is super cool. Oh, he actually just fell over. Hiss barrier. The hiss resonance field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. Is it an AT field? Hiss barriers appear as ways to impede escape or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. Destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity. Destroy the hiss entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of hiss resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of hiss resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the hiss? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? There's a lot of questions in these files, isn't there? Time Home Alone fucking his place up. Yeah! Fuck you, cafeteria! Oh wow, that's uh, that looks kind of like the mould they were talking about. <coughs> An auditory event occurred to the United States Embassy in Havana during the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. Blank deaths were reported and the outgoing information has been managed. Event response. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the events as the event were reported through federal channels but were too late to witness the AWE which is reported to have been blank staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears this lasted for blank minutes no visual phenomena was witnessed the scene was cordoned off and the embassy staff were transported to the continental US uh, I was going to say USA but US uh, after Formula I-9 was recited in the uh, receipted is that receipted? Sorry, 
That's recited, isn't it? Recited in the vicinity. A single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the bureau for examination. No, I want to go in there. Get, yeah, I'm guessing I don't want to touch this shit, do I? Oh, I can't even go near it yet. Can't fuck it up either. Just gives you turbo headaches. I meant to do that. <laughs> totally meant to do that. Don't worry. More house memory, whatever that is. So, uh, are these explosive? Yes. Ew. Got to remember where I've gone now. Uh, that's more... Oh, dead letters. Not quite ready to go in there yet. I saw there was something up here. Can I get up there? <laughs> Climbing in a uh, Remedy game is kind of weird as well, actually. Just another energy boost one. <coughs> Please be aware, due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area stability has been downgraded to yellow. Reference chart. Green equals stable. Yellow equals low possibility of unanticipated building shifts. Orange, high likelihood, red, frequent. Night, Pingu. Sleep well, dude. Holy shit, look at this room. We've proper fucked it up. Alright, let's go through here then. Big boy. He's got a shotgun. So he's got uh, one of the fields around him then. And Thomas can't shoot shit. Or shoot for shit. Right, so how do we get rid of the fields then? It said there was a, there's another object around that you can destroy. Wow, I can't see anything here. Mr. Governor, I called the police, but they never came. Uh, they never come to my house. I got a problem, and you got to send folk to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button. But it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. Says lots of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of the fish. And you got to come handle it. My wife is real upset. When can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. <laughs> Pingu, uh, the Pingu sound kind of sounds a bit like Night Night. A, li a little bit, I guess. I wonder if we get, uh, oh shit. Whoa. Walked into that one. Could have our first death here.
Right, so I can't uh, get rid of that yet until... Uh, I can't change the control point until the other dude's dead. Because if you just shoot him enough, then it gets rid of it. It's kind of creepy sounding. And there's so much collectible stuff in this, isn't there? Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the par paranatural world. The letters come to us from various places and times gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realise not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events. But even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyse the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. P. Bartwell. <coughs> there, there, I think there is, Reese. Um, it said something about... Um, like the, it's, There's an object that creates the shields. So I guess there's maybe an object you can like destroy here that will uh will get rid of the barrier. Yeah. That's so fun. All right, let's go and take uh, can tear this uh, take care of this control point. I did wonder if it was the amount of enemies around, uh, like if you have to clear them all before it gets rid of the shield, but it didn't seem to change how much damage I was doing to it. Didn't seem to. Okay. So yeah, none of these rooms yet. Oh, what's... Ah, uh, you know what? When we get uh, shit on TVs and Remedy games, it's usually gold. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. Whoa! <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disc held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once? even launched a cup. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I love the little live action bits they have in these games. Always, uh, always good fun. I'm wondering if these rooms, like, stay fucked up after you've, uh, after you've left and come back. We're on the right track. Just check there's, uh, anything else that I missed. Machine God. I had a dream and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the gods you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. 
This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. <laughs> That's a quote, isn't it? My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. <laughs> Holy shit. That sounds like one of my mental quotes. Uh, oh, hang on, what's that? Uh, do as you're told. Don't eat mould. Even the smallest amount of mould can cause serious harm. Contact security immediately. I don't tend to eat mould if I can uh, avoid it. It can be difficult sometimes. Yeah! Yeah, so it is worth re uh, going around the areas to see other bits that have opened up. To whom it may concern, I'm being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like me, uh, if you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. Mad. Hello avid readers, the Bureau Book Bunch will convene at the usual spot in the corner table of the cafeteria at 5pm on Tuesday, currently discussing Unless You by JD Brooks. Everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Happy reading, Penny Bartwell. So this is just, just any correspondence then. Ah, oh, this looks cool! Okay, they're mildly creepy looking. <laughs> oh no! Person. Dad says my mama was missing in action. She walked into the city and didn't come back. I don't know what missing in action is, but I sure wish someone would find her. I'll help you look, Telfer. We'll find your mama together. What? Is she looking at us? All right. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> I guess that'll be, they usually have like a running series, don't they, through the Remedy games. Like there was uh, that baseball bat kid boy or whatever it was called. Uh, so I wonder if that might be the one we're uh, looking at here, potentially. Right, so yeah, fast travel, and we can go back to central executive right now. Why did she say that so seductively? I was, I thought it was more creepy than seductive, Reese, but you know, whatever floats your boat. Fuck you, toilet. See, I'm wondering if we should just uh, shoot the bodies. I don't really want to if I can avoid it. Uh, that was another gun mod, wasn't it? Oh, exclusive to shatter. So you've got it. There's 
there's clearly some kind of like um, system for uh, getting abilities that I don't know about yet. Maybe you just find creepy girls attractive. You did like a thingy in um, Psycho. Uh, oh, fuck, I forget the name of the uh, game now. You know the one I mean. All right. <laughs> Man gets hit in crutch by football. Oh, what's that? Oh dear. That's the bad stuff. Yuppie Psycho, that's it. Yeah, so sir. Book Club Notes for Penny by L. Samson. So I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this was alright. The title, unless you, could refer to a bunch of stupid things in the book, I guess. But I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around almost like a catchphrase got annoying real fast. The best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and guns, flowers and guns space hippies or a badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring planets like cheap sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade city planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms. And that space dogfight between those two ace pilots? Sign me the fuck up. What kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favourite character got killed, not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched in his face by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't feel necessary at all. Is it? This is, um, that, so that's what happened to that dude just a second ago. Are we getting, um, Alan Wake style stuff that happens and is written down type deals? Because that would be rad. Reload efficiency. <coughs> uh, let's get. We'll get our reload speed up. I think. Because that seems to be somewhat of an issue. An object of power. Looks like the hiss has latched on to it. We need to cleanse it. Wow. So what is the object? Oh, you can crouch. Okay. What the shit is going on? Just have to get close to it. Oh yeah, okay, there it says it. Oh, it's the floppy disk, okay. So this is how we get our powers. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Okay. That feels satisfying. Oh yeah, Reese, you called it. Oh, I love it when they have like debris all over the place that actually like sticks around. Always fun. Kill. 
So I wonder if it matters on the size of the object, like how much damage it does. <laughs> oh shit. Get a bit of a mixture of stuff there. Alright, so asking us to mute the hiss. <clears throat> there you are. You were gone. Cut off. Floppy disk. Uh, must be contained in a cell with no other loose material. The object is an 8 inch diskette containing Soviet era nuclear launch codes. When bound, the object allows para, uh, para utilitarians to tele teleconnectically lift material. Who's that? Who's that? That's a, that's a Jonathan, that is. John, thank you, man. 13 months now? How you doing, man? You okay? This is uh, this is pretty rad. This game. I don't know if you've seen much about it. But yeah, how are you, young man? Howdy ho! <laughs> uh, yeah, when the object, uh, sorry, when bound, the object allows para utilitarians to telekinetically lift material and throw it a short distance. The object is currently bound to blank for research purposes. Background: Someone from a Soviet military base located in blank by agents blank and blank with the CIA. The diskette contained launch codes to blank missiles, believed to be reserved for use against blank. After being returned to America, the diskette began throwing computational hardware at members of the decoding team. The informant in the CIA tipped the bureau off and it was requisitioned by agents the next day. And uh, yeah, the, I didn't actually look at this either, the service weapon. <clears throat> the ob object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows para utilitarians to blank. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of blank. The object will be determined whether blank. Uh, if rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the blank through their criteria, though their criteria is unknown. So I'm guessing that is um, the the uh, the board. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis: blank. Uh, many forms throughout history: blank, Mjolnir, Excalibur, Varanastra, all weapons that blank of their wielders. If objects are power at the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. If that is the case, blank. A lot of blanks. Why are you old dearie meing, Reese? I got it. Just like you want. That's fun. That's fun. Wow, that works really, really well. Alright. Right, so just hitting them with shit will uh will take those shields away by the looks of things. You just like rip pieces of the floor out. <coughs> yeah, oh, yeah, please Reese, don't go into politics. Uh, I think politics may be the single worst thing you could talk about. Because you, people just go a bit mad with it, don't they? No one seems to be able to agree on stuff. Everyone has to pick a side. Uh, so we're going to have to come back to a lot of these places because there's a lot of doors that are locked via uh, 
key cards, I would guess. Oh yeah, Last Jedi is another one, yeah. <laughs> that one might be the worst of all. People losing their fucking mind over that. Or Star Wars in general. Well, you know what? We didn't think it was uh, Star Wars in general up until the, the new films. Now, um, I don't know. It seems like the, uh, the toxicity has come out. Right, so we've got uh, Hiss Rangers. Rangers are the, uh, yeah. the Rangers are the Bureau's well-trained and well-armed expeditionary forces. Their Hiss corrupted counterparts are equally formidable. Prior to the corruption, Rangers were trained to use a variety of weapons in order to face any threat found during AWE response or threshold exploration, including sub-machine guns, assault rifles and automatic shotguns. Hiss Rangers utilize these weapons as well as the advanced tactics taught by Bureau instructors. Some are additionally outfitted with Bureau-made body armor. Hiss Rangers have no observed parano uh, paranatural abilities beyond some being protected by a shielding of dense Hiss resonance capable of stopping bullets. Considering the advanced training the Hiss Rangers are capable of applying to their situation, it is feasible to consider the human mind still remains intact to some degree. Or is the Hiss able to tap into this combat training and utilize it? Didn't we read this one? Seems very similar to another one. And the Hiss Demolition Expert. The Bureau only allows certain highly trained individuals to handle volatile materials and weaponry. Our demolition experts are instructed to use uh, the use of explosives in dimensions with distinct physical laws, making them important assets for engineering work as well as combat situations. Hiss Demolitions experts are the only observed Hiss variations to wield the specifically built rocket propelled grenade that is designed to identify and track blank entities once fired making them a threat whose termination should be prioritised in combat scenarios. I find it remarkable that the Hiss restricts usage of this weapon to the Bureau personnel who train specifically for its use. What does this tell us about its behaviour? Can not pass along new information to corrupted entities? Still too many unknowns. So much is expected from the Director, the responsibility, the privilege. And then the only person you should fail is yourself. Okay. <coughs> Remake <laughs> Wrath of Khan remake was the best Star Wars. Oh god, don't let's not even start on that one, shall we? <laughs> I've got a friend who uh absolutely will not uh accept that Star Trek Into Darkness is good at all. I liked it, but you know me, I'm said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. I'm pretty easy to uh I'm pretty easy to make happy in terms of movies. Can I get through please? Thank you. Must get items. Uh, what do they call that ability, by the way? The uh, telekinesis one. I wondered if there was maybe a um, an upgrade that improved it. material yeah <laughs> I don't think that's ever gonna get old you know not for me anyway uh-huh Reinformation campaign summary of Willow AWE. National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears, desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined, ruined by global warming, was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns makes the public much less likely to blank. So another AWE behind us and the public is none the wiser. 
Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can stop monitoring blank and blank for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we're in the clear. Tomasi out. Not that I'm not enjoying this, but when were you thinking of switching to AC? Um, I was thinking e 11, between 11 and 11.30, Reese. so in maybe like another uh, hour at the most. That looks like a bad place to go. Maybe there's a key nearby. That would be the key. The this must open the door. Okay, look, there's another one of these. I noticed that there was uh, there was a level one one back in that other room we were in as well. I might go back and grab that while I uh, remember about it. And it's close by. <laughs> You're getting ultra distracted right now. By what? I'm getting distracted by uh, all this cool hidden shit. House material and health boost. Alright, so we've got clearance level 1. 15% health boost. Uh, or more health recovery on element pickup. I'm going to go for health boost, I think. More stuff on Havana. Bureau, Bureau medical staff personally eva evaluated the injured embassy personnel when they arrived back in the country. While the victims reported cognitive issues, dizziness and fatigue, further testing by Bureau medics found intense cell damage similar to that of radiation exposure. Agents and research staff remained to take soil samples from the surrounding area, but found no traces of blank beyond the health in issues of the staff. Oh dear. Communications department dis uh, disseminated a story of foreign em uh, powers using blank blank on the embassy staff, resulting in various health issues that require the embassy to be evacuated. The story successfully took hold, gaining brief international attention. <clears throat> oh, okay, Reese. I saw you uh, You were up until like 4am or something, weren't you, writing that paper. I'm sorry for distracting you. <coughs> so what's up here then? If anything. Wow, this place is really quite big. Loads of places we can uh, we can explore right now. I, 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 oh shit. I think I understand more about what they meant earlier about uh, about the uh, certain objects being thrown at those guys. So it seems to be objects that uh, just normal. If you chuck normal objects at those guys, then it disrupts the shields. Uh oh, who's that? It's back a crew. How's it going, guys? Thank you so much. It's been a while, has it not? Oh, Reese, thanks, man. Yeah, okay, yeah. Mo, Mo, you got uh, you got out, out, shout outed, shout outed. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yo, you little rascal, you little rascal. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> it's good to see you again. 
Who is uh, who is playing Secret of Mana? Have you guys uh, have you guys seen about this as well? Have you seen any of this yet? It's really quite good. It's a lot of reading involved, which I don't mind, but I'm hoping other people aren't getting bored by. <clears throat> Tomorrow and me finish it up today. Is it? Uh, were you playing the original or are you playing the uh, PS4 remake? <laughs> Hello, Miri. Let's see what we've got. Confirmed data breach. Last month, our on-site server experienced an intrusion by unauthorized users. After a thorough investigation, it was confirmed that the users only accept ah, only accessed a video file which contained portions of various Dr. Darling presentations. Investigators were able to track the users through their IP addresses. The following are the confirmed identities of these users. Names. These individuals are in breach of Bureau Code 91 and have been placed under surveillance by our external investigation team. Further action is pending. Here's the remake. How is the remake? Because I, um, I heard mixed things about it. Well, I'll be honest. I heard uh, people moaning about it more than praising it. Uh, I never played the original, so I, I don't know how they, uh, they would compare. But I was kind of intrigued by it. It was something about the style didn't look as nice or something, right? I can't, can't go up there. This is a very bizarre room. Is that an item up there? How the shit do you get that? Do I have to chuck something at it? No? Oh, wait. Could that knock it off? No. Hmm... Okay, so there's uh, there's a lot of secret. Maybe there's some kind of super jump or something I can get later on. You gave it six out of ten. Really have potential. Is it is it much different from the normal game? Hey, George. Thanks, man. Five months now. How you doing, man? Oh god, we're really getting off the beaten path here. Like, there's so much stuff to read in this game, honestly. It's fugly, but I guess it's a good way to play it on modern systems. Even though you can do that, uh, there's that uh, collection now, a collection of mana, isn't there? I was kind of in, kind of tempted to get that, because they've said it's limited, but it hasn't sold out yet. So I was kind of waiting for it to get a bit cheaper, but I don't know if it's just going to disappear. <clears throat> Secret mana... Secret of Mana isn't that great. It's fine, but they're far superior SNES RPGs. I mean, the SNES has a lot of good RPGs, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, George, I'm good, dude. You been up to much? Right, what we got here? Pay attention, Alberto. This is the last time I'm explaining this. Internal lockdowns are manually triggered events that lock one or all of the sectors by restricting use of the sector elevator, effectively locking staff in their sector until the emergency is handled. It can only be lifted via the directional override and maintenance once the director is satisfied that the situation is under control. External lockdowns are a bigger deal. Nothing in or out of the whole building. It's only triggered by a code red containment breach based on some complicated system that security and research slap together. It can be lifted by one. Uh, it can only be lifted once a the threat has been neutralized and b a high clearance individual gives the system the all clear. This process is not the same as the directorial override, so stop saying so in the in documentation. I know it's confusing as hell. I've told Darling a hundred times to change it, but they're adamant it stays the way it is. Honestly, I don't think they even know how to change it at this point. Let's just make sure our staff understand how this mess all works, okay? <clears throat> how far am I in the game, Miri? Um, I'm. Uh, this is the first stream. I've been playing for a couple of hours now. I've only done the first mission. I think. I'm not going to be able to go near that, am I? No. Can't go anywhere near the mould. Have you uh, Have you played it, Miri? Or you're planning to play it? Just the usual, George. Let's see. What's that? Another key card. Don't need more than one though, surely. 
I guess it's just to give you another option, just in case you missed the other one. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. Thank you for staying up with us. Ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy, thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspiciacom. <laughs> I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed, inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have. And the body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below him. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights, but when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. It was dark and stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story, and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange, something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your toaster is possessed. Remember, dear listeners, when no one else believes you, we do. America Overnight. <clears throat> Seeing colors you can't describe. That is a strange one. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I'm not reading all of that. I can't read all the writing either. Ah, uh, Miri, are you playing WoW by any chance? Because everyone seems to be playing WoW at the moment. <laughs> Ending was kind of disappointing, though. That's a shame, Chris. Is it? It's not that long, is it? For like, for an RPG, it's what about 20 hours or so? Launch efficiency. Ah, oh, that might be a good one. Launch energy cost. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the health one for the moment, but I'll uh, use that as a backup potentially. Why is the music going off? Ah, that'd be why. Oh, Final Fantasy XIV. I am, I'm so, I'm trying so hard not to play that game because I know I will get hooked on it if I start it. Uh. I got hooks on WoW many, many years ago. And it's, uh, yeah, MMOs, MMOs are really dangerous to me nowadays. But if I do go back to one, it's likely to be Final Fantasy XIV. Because I hear very, very good things about it. I did uh, try it for a little bit, but nothing, like, I only played it for like a couple of hours maybe. Seemed pretty good. Loved it as a kid, now 20 years later, somewhat the magic has gone. I, I guess because you've played more RPGs as well, and that was maybe one of the first ones you played, right? <clears throat> oh, we got a boss, it's Tomasi.
as he dodges all the shit we throw at him. Oh, we got some ads. move around a little bit more I think use cover a little bit more effectively it's elevated his elevated agents display uh, abilities similar to telekinetic com uh, competencies observed in bureau para utilitarians. Some prefer to change their t charge their targets, while others launch objects at them. Telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against the his elevated due to their own talent in the area. They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural ca capabilities. Some his elevated have been seen levitating while strapped into chairs. This is likely the result of individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording in parapsychology. Uh, how are they able to use paranatural abilities? Is it possible uh, that these individuals were bound to objects of power prior to corruption? It's also worth... Thank you, George. It's also worth considering that the Hiss resonance can identify and express latent paranatural ability in the individuals it corrupts. <clears throat> Oh yeah, no, Miri, I, I, I have no doubt it's going to be good, Final Fantasy XIV. That's why I'm worried about starting it, because uh, I, I put... Um, I think between my two main characters, I probably put about 400 days into WoW, I think. I'm not, not really up for doing that right now. <laughs> it was too easy compared to the original. Had it uh, Still had its good sides, but still it's nice for a casual player, though. Because uh, I, I was thinking of getting it to add it to the collection if I could get it cheap enough. But I might just get a collection of mana instead. That was the first flying dude we've we've come across, Reese. Oh yeah, of course you were playing it uh, co-op, weren't you? I have a feeling he'll be back. Let's stay focused. Depends if the they balance. Should be past the mail room. Depends if they balanced it uh, with co-op in mind or not. Tea time. Hey Malcolm. Yes. Tea time is at seven. I'll see you at the course on Sunday morning. By the way, have you heard about this Tenny Tennyson report? Apparently, there's a bunch of copies drifting around the office. Trench is looking to get his hands on any information about who wrote it. You wouldn't happen to have heard anything about that, would you? See you Sunday, Jim. That's not going to get old, sorry. Not for me anyway. Right, I don't think I missed anything else around here. <clears throat> What's upstairs? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, playing one Joy-Con per person. Is it, um, was it three player Secret of Mana? Or did I imagine that? Alright, that's back, uh, yeah, okay, that's just back there. Can we climb up that ladder? That'd be a no. But yeah, collection of mana I would like to get. It's just, uh, I think it's about 30 to 35 quid right now. And I'm not really up for spending uh, spending that much on a collection of old games like that. Although I'm considering doing it for... Well, I'm not considering. I'm going to do it for Yakuza. But that's a bit different. Because I haven't played Yakuza 5 yet. Actually, no, it's, that doesn't make sense. No, you know, it's not the same. <laughs> that's all I'll say. 
not the same for me anyway. The butt summary. Event summary: A spate of disappearances were traced. Uh, sorry, a spate of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Butt. Is it Butt or Butte or something? Where bureau agents discovered a translocated light switch cord. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at blank blank, which had been connected to a total of blank disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light cord uh, switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house eight, uh, blank days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the butt home's closet disappeared during this incident. What a useless power. Not sure if you can play with three people. That'll probably make it... Well, it make, should make it even easier, right? Hotline chamber. Okay, not, not there yet. We've got another recording to listen to. Alberto Tomasi. We've got Tomasi's ID. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. See, head of comms. The hiss got him. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular water supply. <coughs> you can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds at all for that? to show up inside a U.S. Embassy. Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Man, are you still recording this? Whoops. <laughs> the hotline can't be far now. Okay, I'm really, really enjoying this. Low health boost. I could really go for uh, some more upgrades right now. Uh, damage while low on health. What is considered low health though? Is it when the, uh, the screen goes red? Hotline check. I really like that. I really, really like that. According to their testimony, the agents have been transported from the butt home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel and Casino and discovered a room key by performing a ritual. See file MOT-01. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside this room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the home's owner and the local other locals of butt have been attributed to the light switch cord. The ocean... Uh, I'm guessing that it's meant to say Ocean View Motel is now seen to have uh, many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the butt home have been appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, blank light cords have been found in the oldest house, located in the blank and blank sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly this link operates is blank. But initial hypothesis, hy hypothesis said to on the butt. A W E as a blank. Okay. I wonder if we'll find any of these lights, light cords. We'll be able to go to that hotel, perhaps. Let's see. We got a uh, security log. I don't know if any of that's meant to mean anything right now. can hear the phone going off. Is it going to be in that chamber we saw in that like dream sequence? The ocean view oh look, there you go. Light cord. Dream logic. The light switch cord. The door marked with the black pyramid. It's 
So what's that say? Uh, Ocean View Motel and Casino Entry Point. Catalyst light switch. The law of three applies. Hotline is desire, uh, designated for direct use only. Disregard of this policy may result in fatal psychic trauma. Oh wow, that's... I was wondering if there's anything behind us as well. It's changed. No. Whoops! <laughs> I thought there was nothing there. <laughs> nice. How generous is the checkpointing in this? I thought there was going to be like an invisible floor or something. It said uh, rule of three. I suppose we've got to pull it three times, right? Oh shit. Okay, so the uh, it's not not too nice. Oh no, it's fine. It's it, everything up until that point is saved. I was gonna say, am I gonna have to find those um, files again? Okay, Raf. Uh, Raf, I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind help, but uh, I usually don't. I don't like it unless I ask for it. Just so you know, try and go through this as blind as I can. But I appreciate the help. Wait, is that an object we can open? No. Alright, so one, two, three. Have we been here before? That's cool. No. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road. On the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. They said the door with a tri uh, black triangle on it. I'll save that for in a minute. Let's have a look up here first. Hello? Anyone here? I wonder if we can get some like hidden dialogue here. Does it say rule of threes apply? And I've hit it three times. Then the music went all creepy for a second there. Ah, here we go. Key has a black pyramid on it. Uh, I guess the door was locked before, so I was meant to come up here first anyway. Uh, which room did the say um, had the uh, the ghost in it? Or was that the one with the black pyramid on? Forty-seven. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was this hotel or not. I guess with numbers like that, it probably isn't, is it? Oh, is that where we're going to appear once we've pressed this three times? That's cool. Is this another ability we're gonna get, or is this gonna? This might unlock our uh, abilities, perhaps. Hollow will allow you to contact extra-dimensional entities. Oh shit! My bad. 
wasn't looking where I was going. Right, so it looks like we want to avoid those things. I shoot it. Oh shit, I did it again. Fucking hell. Keep falling through these little gaps here. Red phone, like the Matrix. Do you think that's what they were going for? Like, is a red phone being used in anything else? I mean, do I have to like lure it over here and then just run around the other side? Find the phone again. Um, Raf, thanks for the follow, dude. I see. Is it RAF? RAF crazy? <laughs> It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Okay, that gave us a lot of stuff to uh, look at and collectibles there. Uh, let's see, hotline. Containment procedure. Object should be inex uh, inaccessible for use except to the director. Object is a 1960s era red bakelite telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. Phone weighs blank. The object's let uh, the fact that they've uh, got rid of the weight suggests that it's like incredibly dense or something. I don't know. Like weighs a lot more than it should. The object allows the director to communicate with the blank. If anyone, uh, if used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal blank. The object is currently bound to director trench. The object spontaneously manifested in a director's office placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. A battery of tests were run on the object, including blank and blank, but its origin remains unknown. All right. Multimedia, that was the, um, the report. I'm just going to clear these off. So I. Uh... All right, so what's this all about? Oh. So that's just the um, the hotline is showing all of the old shit, I guess. All of the old videos. Yeah. Okay. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. That wasn't there before. Oh, we're just in the director's office all of a sudden. All right. With a new file. 
To all executive staff, I know there is some concern regarding our operations exceeding the annual budget. As long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. If our budget demands are not exorb uh, exorbitant uh, to the point of drawing attention, then they will be granted by the US Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in another spreadsheet that some lowly accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over us as if we weren't even there. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms in how we operate. Our being here is no accident. Okay. His body's gone. Yeah, look, loads of uh, loads of the pictures are being replaced with us. I think it's through here, wasn't it? Yeah. I wonder if that would have unlocked our um, abilities. Maybe talking to Jesse, her, it will do it. Did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss. I... Sorry, you made it. I'm glad. Emily, let's talk. I got the hotline. I could make out what Chester <coughs> said. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team, people who knew the bureau of secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well and all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you i mean i would love to run some tests on you if you agree that is we could find out something that would help us tests i don't know she might find out about you but i wouldn't mind understanding more myself okay if you think it will help great I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. I really hope I'm not being super dumb, but I'm not totally getting what is going on here. Hopefully that's fairly deliberate. Remember that the janitor did say at the beginning, <clears throat> you'd be working under me, or uh, or for me, was it? Either way, clearly there's something of importance with the janitor. Four ability points received. Upgrade and unlock new abilities from the nearest control point. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we can talk to her about as well. Oh, we've got another file too. An 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 ah. Ah. <laughs> Analysis of his threat, part one. 
Initial encounters with the entity known as the Hiss have revealed various behavior, uh, behavioral facts. Most notably, the Hiss is able to evade, invade sorry, or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans, radically changing their behavior. Curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices that Dr. Darling has been distributing over the past weeks was not affected by this corruption. The only known exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Fadden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the Hiss. This could indicate that she has already been corrupted, but her behaviour is so in contrast to that of the other Hiss that I have dismissed the theory. My final observation comes from Ms Fadden herself. She is able to cleanse material and organisms of the Hiss corruption. We tested this ability on a Hiss corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps the host psycho... Uh, sociology... No. So... It is sociology, isn't it? Sociology becomes reliant on the Hiss. More work to be done. Um, oh god, there's so much, so much stuff in this, isn't there? Physiology, sorry, it was physiology. Hi, Jesse. Okay, that's uh, that's not anything new. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. When it comes Just to like a lot of those words, like psychology and. Um, physiology and stuff i don't know why it's just the the phy confuses me a lot i see them all as the same word a lot of the time do you hear that hear what? Singing. where is it coming from what's this game about um miri I, i'm not sure <laughs> um it sounds like it's coming from the elevator incantation she calls it you mean like in person. With what are these guys saying? I think she's trying to get us killed. Yeah, it's um, it, it seems to be we're like we've just invaded a uh, government agency that deals with like paranormal shit. Um, and we've been we're looking for our brother. It, it seems like, but yeah, not not really sure. <laughs> Weapon forms. Oh, so we can um. Oh, is this um, making new weapons? And then weapon mods and shit. Upgrade to enable higher tier mods. Random mods. I don't really want to make random mods right now, but the weapon forms I might have a go at. 10% <coughs> health, 10% energy, 10% to melee damage, 25% to launch damage. It's all basic shit right now. Uh, use three points to unlock additional weapon form slot. Let's get launch damage. That uses two. Um, get some more health. More health is always good. Seems like you die quite quickly in this as well. So I might as well just get all... all Four of the uh, of these ones. Additional weapon form slot. Oh, actually, I think that's probably just unlocked it. Full stop. Right. See, so, yeah, in theory, actually, before I do that. Oh, and what's that? Board countermeasures. Kill enemies without dying. Oh, is this like? Uh, this must be. Like side quests, I guess. Use grip, kill enemies with headshots. Oh, so using grip, kill enemies with headshots. Kill enemies with a service weapon in any mode. Okay, that's cool. There's an AFK dungeon? How does that work? <laughs> All right, so yeah, we'll have to. We've got to wait for a threshold remnant before we can um, upgrade that. But let's uh, let's make this, shall we? Shatter has a high stopping power with a uh, with a scatter shot that devastates grouped enemies at close range. So that's a shotgun, then basically. I guess. Alright, so have we got anything for the shatter? 
chance, ammo refund chance on hit, ammo cost, recoil down, projectiles fired. Uh, let's give it more projectiles fired. It's got to be a good one, right? I thought it said it unlocked another mod thing. Oh no! <clears throat> Why did you get the Gladiator song stuck in my head, Chris? <laughs> oh god! Why? Are you a gladiator? <laughs> Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. I'll, I'll take the, uh, the 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 sub in payment for my misery that I now have the Gladiator song stuck in my head. Why are you so addicted to that song? <laughs> Daily stuff is roulette, so what you get is random. There's an extra roulette for two story dungeons. Yeah, I, I've heard the term roulette used before. Right, yeah, let's... Uh, so how do we swap weapons then? Doesn't look like I can find out here. Right, well, I'm enjoying this a lot. Even though I don't know what I'm doing, what's going on really, and I'm kind of feeling a bit dumb, but uh, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it so far. Um, I, I say that a lot at the end of like a session, but I generally enjoy everything I play because I, I carefully pick what I play usually. But anyway, 